What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you the brand new ChatGPT Android app. As you probably know by now, there's thousands of scammy ChatGPT type apps that offer you things similar to it, but now there is an official OpenAI ChatGPT app for Android. You can go ahead and install this if you're in one of the few countries that it's currently rolled out to, being just the US, India, Bangladesh, and Brazil. But of course, they'll be adding additional countries over the next week, as they say. Now, obviously, I'm not in those countries, but you can still get access to it should you happen to appear in one of those countries. On Android, this is super easy, and I should hopefully not have to explain it. Anyways, I've gone ahead and installed it on Android here. Just note that it is published by OpenAI and not any one of these other apps here. When you do install it, you'll need an OpenAI account regardless, but with a free account, you can go ahead and sign in when you open the app. Should we swipe across, you'll see your name, email account, and what plan you're currently on, as well as new chat and history, which will show you all of your chats, even the ones that you had previously on the web, so just these ones here. You can click in them to open them up and review them as before. Cool. In the settings section, you can in the future change your subscription plan here, but currently they're just telling you what you have. The data controls section allows you to turn off chat history and training, as well as export data from your account and delete your account. Scrolling down further, we have app color scheme, haptic feedback, choosing a language for dictation, and further down, help terms, version, etc. One of the cool things about this app is that you're able to speak to it just by clicking the microphone. Hello, I'll allow it permissions. Hello, chat GPT, and it'll convert it to text, then allow us to send it after customizing it. Pretty simple. Now, obviously, I've only got a free account, but should you have a paid account, does this let you use add-ons and things like that? Well, there's only one way to find out. If you choose to upgrade, you'll need to do it via the website, and when you do, you won't have it updated immediately. You'll need to close the app, restart it, and when you do, you should see ChatGPT+, Plus. but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like besides toggling between ChatGPT 3.5 and 4, I don't think we get access to extensions, but what about extensions we've used on the web? Well, if we use ChatGPT 4 with plugins here and choose maybe, I don't know, Wolfram Alpha, we'll say use Wolfram to plot some interesting math stuff for an example and we'll see what it does for us it'll use wolfram and it should do stuff for us i think uh yeah there we go there's some math stuff as you can see if we have a look at the android app and history then the chat that we just had on the web you can see yes we do have some functionality here we have a picture that i can't zoom into or anything like that at this current point in time this is obviously very early but there is something here i suppose obviously functionality will be improved in the future if we ask it the same thing such as now use wolfram to plot something else interesting it should maybe do something yeah okay so it's using the plugin that's for sure but it's just not being displayed properly and we don't have any control over it as far as i can tell well there is a plugin section here but i see it hasn't been fully enabled yet maybe when it's done no that's a feature to come currently not built into the app obviously it'll work on the web as it usually does so i assume if you're going to be doing anything with extensions and gpt4 you'll need to do that on the web rather than mobile but anyways it's here it's ready to use of course it does have a quite a bit to go but hey if we can use AI to code with, I'm sure they are as well, so progress will probably be pretty quick. It's nice to see an official app that's not a scam, as there are a ton of them available on the Google Play Store, probably the same on Android. Keep your wits about you should you download any of those, but once again, it's nice to have an official one. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video useful, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.